Okay, so we're checking uh, harness continuity from the PCM to the alternator one pin connector. So what I did was I uh, jumped it with that little pin right there. So it's not touching on the inside, it's just sitting there so it doesn't come this way and it hits the ground here. So this is connected and we're gonna check for uh, continuity. And the pin we're gonna do is a six pin in the second row. And this is pretty much, okay, it went into the wrong cable. So on this side, it's just, this is just hanging there. So we don't want this touching anywhere. Uh, Cause it will, it will ground itself. Anyways, um, what we're gonna do here is, uh, so this this little one wire is connected to my alternator here. Uh, I'm sorry, to my voltmeter here, which is uh, connected to check the continuity. It should beep once I plug into the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, not that. This little guy. So you see that? So we got solid beep. You hear that? Solid beep. That means this cable from here to there is perfectly good. So that's not the issue. We can rule that out. And we checked the fuse already. So the light keeps coming back. PCM is we're going to rule out. Brand new alternator. It's given 14 volts. So PCM is the issue here. So you could buy a new PCM, update it, um, program it. You're going to have to program the keys and everything and feed the wind number to the PCM okay, so you can't just throw it in and expect the car it might start up and die out on you So you are gonna have to uh, put in another PCM and Program the key and feed the wind number to it and then the car should be uh, Nice and good. Anyways, uh, at least we checked all that. So there you have it